Hi, I'm Frank Kirkvik, and I'll just give you a basic introduction on how to use Pages 08. First of all, open it from your dock. If it's not located in your dock, you can access it through your Applications folder here in your hard drive. Or you could simply go to the Spotlight, type in Pages, and it will be the top hit here. So Pages has opened. You can see there are several different templates available. I'm going to choose Brochures. And I'll just simply click this one, select Choose. And I'm just going to shrink my view here so that it fits the page. I'll just shrink it a bit here. So you can see this template here has two pages available. And if you click on this button, you can see there are others as well. And they may be dragged and rearranged into a different type of order. Uh, I'm only going to stick with this first page, so I'm just going to simply click this one and press delete. And we'll get rid of those ones. Now the page thumbnails are viewable from going to view, hide page thumbnails, or view, show page thumbnails. So the first thing to talk about, I guess, is the text. And you can see every all of the text areas here are surrounded by text boxes. Uh, what you should not do is delete these. These act as placeholders, so if they are deleted, you have deleted the area to place text. If that happens, however, you can go to Insert and go to Insert a Text Box. You can see the text box is there, and that can just be clicked and resized, and text can be added again. So simply, I double-click here, and it becomes highlighted, and I'll just give it a title here, as well as here, double-clicking. And I can just simply start typing the, your desired text. And I'm just going to... Oops, just highlight this here. I'm going to copy and paste it again just so it appears a bit longer. And I'm going to highlight it again. And you can see I can choose a font from here as well as the style and the size. Alternatively, you can go to the font buttons as well. And I'm going to select uh, Helvetica. And I'll choose this one in regular and I'll make it 14. So you can see there it's been altered and I'm just going to highlight it again and you can see if I just double click it'll highlight it in chunks and I'm using a little kind of a dark gray here and I'm going to select maybe this color and that's done and you also have your bolds italics and underlines here as well as your text alignment and how you wish it to appear. You have this button as well, as, which is your spacing. And alternatively, you can go into the inspector button here, and there's a text option that has further uh, adjustments that you can make. So you see I'm using, my line is 1.2. If I slide that, you can see it quite easily, and I can scrunch it up as well. My after paragraph is 0.7. I'm going to change that to, say, 10. So you'll see if I type here, it leaves some space. And if you wish to put bullet points, you would do that here in the list. And you select bullet points, and then they appear there. And you have a few other options on images that you could use as well. And if you also wish to change the color of your font, you can also do it within here. So that's the text there. Uh, next with the photos, see all these areas, photos can be added. Uh, these small ones I don't need, so I just click it once and then just going to press delete. Now if you had a photo on your desktop, that could simply be dragged on top here and it would be inserted. Uh, I do not have any, so I'm going to go into my media area. You see my photos here. I'm in iPhoto, and I can just simply click and drag that there, let go. Automatically fits into the framed window. If I double click, you see the shadow here on the actual size of the photo. And that photo can be made smaller as well, as well as moved around. The blue lines assist you in centering. I'm going to just do that. You see the frame here is a little bit bigger for me. So I'm just going to shrink it slightly and 
Oops. Slide that down. Okay. Now this text box can also be placed and moved around within the document and I'm going to put it on top of my photo but you'll see it's behind that area there so I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to say bring to front and you can see it's on top there now I want to double click that and change it to white so it's can be seen easier so some of the templates you'll see there's these little kind of symbols like this so that those are their own separate entities so they can just be deleted Another neat little option you can do is I'm, I clicked on my photo here and I'm going to go back into the inspector and I'm going to go to the metric area here and I have this rotate button. As you can well just type in the degree that you know and it will go to that area as well. So I'll leave that at that. This rotate button also works with the text boxes. So you can do it like that as well. Put that back to zero. And there's my photo. And another option, I can put a little reflection underneath. It appears there. So another thing you can do with the media button here is you can add in uh, MP3 files or movies, so these would be your iMovies and your iTunes library here, or GarageBand files. So I'm just going to click, just like the photo, click and drag. You see a speaker icon appears, and that can be dragged anywhere onto the document. I'll just put it down here. can be resized as well. And this might be useful for presentations or something. So I'll just double click to play. and I click again to stop it. Now if I'm doing a presentation though I may need to adjust the volume on that so if I go into the inspector the last button I can adjust the volume bring it down to there and you can adjust where you would like the song to start playing or where you would like it to stop so I'm just going to keep it at one and a half seconds there I'll just show you And you are also able to insert shapes, and you can do that from here, as well as the insert button, and you can go to there as well. Uh, this is a bit faster, and I'm just going to insert a square here, and I'm going to put it behind here. Now you see it's blocking again. If I go to the arrange center back, you see it has disappeared because it has gone behind this border here as well. So what I can do is I can edit undo that. I can click on the speaker instead and go to arrange bring to front. And that's nice and centered now. So I'll just pretend that my document here is all done and I'm now going to go to edit, do the spelling check from here as well as a proofreading for grammatical errors here. And I've done that and now I'm ready to save so I'm going to go to save as, give it a title, and don't forget this box can be closed and reopened. I'm going to keep it on the desktop. And one interesting option here is that since the students will be using the 08 version at school, and some may have the 06 version at home, uh, they would need to tick this box if they would like to open it from home. Uh, 08 will not open on 06, but 06 will open on 08. And you also have this advanced options here. And this is useful if you, since I've dragged this MP3 file, it will make a copy of that as well uh, when I open it on a new computer. So I'm just going to click Save. It'll just appear here on the desktop.